that you check if your GoPro is recording on your head. Okay, so what we are gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to clean windows in the hot sun. It is something that a lot of newbies have issues with and you know, I think one of the things I struggled with the most in the first two years was this. And these commercial windows that we have here are all in the bright sun. They get super, super hot quick and steam. So it is fall, when it's fall and the sun faces from the south, hits the south wall, then it's cold out and you get this steam on the glass. So some important things to do here, as I got my bucket full of water, of course, I'm gonna have to refill on this building probably a couple times. So I got my water key. Um, Got a little extra soap here. I don't usually use Joy, it's just, just what I have in here, so I'm gonna use it for this job. But what's in there right now is Dawn. And then to give myself just a little extra um, ability as far as having the solution stay wetter longer, I'm gonna add in some Winsaw Super Slip. Now it is fall, it's about 50 degrees right now. I wouldn't use this um, in weather that's like, I would say 40 degrees or lower, it creates too much glide and actually leaves a lot of solution on the glass. So we got that going. I added too much soap in there this morning, so I'm not gonna add any more soap in. As far as squeegees go, I'll keep with this Ederay um, rubber in my Ederay Master Brass channel. That does pretty well. If you're doing a lot of hot glass, I suggest a hard style rubber, like the Unger Green rubber or just a hard rubber is gonna do better on the glass. And then we won't need this. And then I have in here, I have a combination tool with the Unger green hard rubber. Now this, this rubber specifically, it's pretty worn, but I've used it for a few months. Well, not a few months, a month. So I'm gonna re just switch the sides here. And basically what I wanna do here is just show you guys kind of how fast you need to go, what to expect when doing this, because it can be very discouraging. And I've even saw, seen people that have a lot of time on the glass really not be able to do this correctly. And it's really just a thing of patience and just working through it, but it can go quickly. So I'm just doing outside of this building. Just grab a couple towels here and we'll get going on this stuff. So what I'll show you here, it's like this window specifically here is always, well, all of these windows here. Really this side, what I'll do is this side is sunny right now. So I'll try to wait on that side and do the shaded side in the front first. So almost what it is is like, let me show you how quickly this steams. So I don't know if you can see that steam coming off. I think you guys can probably see that in the video. So this is almost too soapy. Um, this will dry quick. So it's almost better to use less soap. But as you can see here, it is drying extremely fast. So what I do, I won't do the whole window. I just try to soap it up as far as I can and then um, finish off the rest by hand, like so. But you'll see here, you see it smoking. Makes it difficult. So this is where I have, I have my mop. I don't get any of the water out of it or anything. And then also, sometimes you literally gotta use the two hand method, even still with solution on the glass. So it's really just a thing of being quick. Quick, 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 quick. And that Winsaw Super Slip is helping me keep that water wetter longer. Um, I have found, and you'll see in my ultimate soap review, that the Dawn and Winsaw Super Slip overall has been the best. So just, I would say mop where you can reach to, squeegee that down quick. I don't even do where I close off the two sides and do the middle. There's not even enough time to do that. So I just try to get it off as quick as possible. Now, if these were really dirty windows, you would have to get up there and really do this by hand. But since we do these windows quarterly, 
they're not too bad. And then now what I'll do is I'll show you guys just with the mop how to do it quick as well. Uh, mostly with like straight pulls, but the one thing about this is it's super easy to get like rainbow streaks. So even when you do that, it's not always gonna be perfect. But what you can do here is you can, if you don't have a combination tool or you're not good at it yet, just fully dunk your mop. Really soak the window up. Okay. Oh man, it locked. Be super quick. I don't mean unlock the squeegee. And just down. 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 And then that will be your best way. But I mean, I can even see now just a little bit of streaks there at the top. I'm not too worried about it. I don't like it, but I'm not too worried about it because I know it's not gonna do much better. I prefer using the um, the sleeve or using the flick pad. And what you really have to do now, these flick pads don't hold as much water as they used to. So you almost have to redunk it every time. And I have it at the 25 degree angle. You guys see here just how quick, how quick this steams up. I mean, just look at that. So you literally just have to Boom. And what I don't like about this tool is that when you dunk it fully in the water like this, for some reason, water likes to come through and bleed through the middle. I don't get it. But look at that, how quickly that dries. So really, all it's about is just being quick. This step I could probably reach by hand. I'll show you that in the next window. You see, it bleeds. I don't know why these do this. Me and Luke have tried to accomplish and figure out why it does that. But if you can reach the window and you clean it regularly, almost an easier thing to do. Start out, do that top thing. I do like to do the bottom two as far as scrub it. And then just let the mop go ahead of your squeegee. And that's gonna help you with glide. Now, if you're using a soft rubber while doing this, it's just going to grab the glass the whole entire time. You're not going to have a good time at all. Now, with lowers like this, I'm not like overly too crazy about making sure everything's perfect, but I like to give a good scrub. Okay. You know, that's about it. But really, cleaning windows in the sun and direct sunlight is a hard thing to get used to. If it's windy, good luck. I would, might just do that job at a later time or try to schedule the job for, I don't know, a better time that's not as uh, sunny, but sometimes you just can't get away from it. I've had a lot of customers throughout my days say to me, well, why, why do you wanna come when the sun, or they'll, they'll say, well, you know, the, um, the main wall at my house this time of day is better than this time of day. And I always tell them, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We kind of have to figure out how to clean windows in the sun. Or else you're really not a professional window cleaner. Not to say that if you don't do it, not to say that if like you don't like doing it, you're not a professional. It's just, you got to learn how to do it. Now, what would be the preferred way to do this is that if you did have like a fill and go, water fed and you did this all with water fed it wouldn't matter if you're in the direct sun or not and that's why water fed is so nice but i still on projects like this commercial frames and stuff i still like old school traditional methods but water fed you're actually going to do better in the sun and you're going to have less dry time than you would if you were in the shade so that's another solution that you could do as well but overall it's really about just being quick use something um, that has you know extra slip in it that keeps the water wetted longer like one saw super slip that's what i put in i'll put the link to that in this video and really that is the main thing to help you you know be able to do it remember hard rubber um, i've really found that this solution is the best this is too much soap i'll be quite honest with you i could use less soap and be fine here 
but I put a little too much in this morning. More soap is gonna make it dry quicker. That's why when you could never do a job like this and add soap directly to your mop. You just create streaks everywhere. Um, so you don't wanna do that. But yeah, as you can see, all these windows look good. There's just cleaning in direct sunlight can be a little bit difficult, but I just suggest following these tips I gave you as far as use a lot of water, have patience. You're gonna have to dunk things like your uh, combination tool and stuff quite a bit. Um, but overall, that's pretty much the only way to clean in the sun. A lot of water, something that keeps your water better longer, like super slip, fast techniques, and over time, you'll learn the double hand technique, which is extremely, extremely helpful in doing this. So, hope this video has helped, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.